What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Ryan Pineda Show where we talk all things real estate, business, entrepreneurship, and today you caught us on our weekly vlog where we're doing something extremely cool. We're giving my dad a car. So before we give him a car, let me just step back for a little bit and tell you a little bit about my dad. So my dad came to America when he was 17 years old from the Philippines. So for those of you who are wondering what ethnicity I am, I'm half Filipino, half white. And the thing that defined my dad was he was always a hard worker. He worked himself up all the way to managing multiple gas stations at a young age. He also had the entrepreneurial spirit and he ended up opening up his own gas stations, his own liquor stores, and he was really successful. When I was growing up, we lived a very middle-class lifestyle. I always had everything I could ever want. We lived in an amazing house. I had nice clothes, nice things, and whatever I needed to succeed in school or baseball or anything in life, he was always there to provide it for me. When the crash came in 2008, he ended up losing everything. He lost his business. We lost the home I grew up in. It was all gone. And I honestly did not realize how bad it was because I was off in college playing baseball when it all happened, but it was a really difficult time in my parents' lives. So I didn't know how bad things were back then when I was in college. I understand it now with kids, running a business, having bills, mortgages, everything, especially with everything going on in the world right now. But even despite what was going on in 2008, he always made every single one of my baseball games in college. He did not miss a series. And that's how it was growing up. Every single game in high school, middle school, travel ball, little league, you name it, he was there. He was the one taking me to practice. He was the one hiring the coaches to make sure I got the best training I could. I really appreciate him knowing his limitations and hiring a real professional to teach me. I see a lot of dads nowadays who try and teach their kids how to do something they suck at. So dads, if you're teaching your kids anything, leave it to the professionals. Don't think you know everything. That was one of the biggest things my dad taught me was go seek the help of professionals if you wanna be great at something. And that's why I was able to play baseball as long as I did. So after he had lost his business, he kind of just drifted along from job to job. He started working as a handyman. My mom would sell a house, he would fix it up. And that's how my parents made a living from the crash till probably around 2016, 2017. And they weren't making a great living, but they were getting by. Well, fast forward, once my real estate career started to take off, I was able to give him a job as a project manager. And that was an amazing thing because it was tough for him to go and fix all these houses by himself. But being able to go manage projects and help me out in my business, it's the best thing for him. So he's been working for me for about three years now and doing an amazing job taking care of the company. And it's a win-win for everyone involved because he's on a great salary. My parents are in a much better situation. So I'm truly blessed to be able to do it. So let's get back to the car. As of right now, he drives a 2004 Toyota Tundra. And that actually used to be my truck when I was flipping couches. I got a lot of memories in that truck, but I was very happy to give it away to him and get rid of it. And he's grateful to use it for what he's doing. He's driven it for the last four or five years. But now it's got almost 200,000 miles. Things are starting to happen with it. It's time to get him a new car. So my dad called me and he is starting to tell me about the truck and he's like, man, you know, there's a lot of things that get, need to get fixed. I don't think it's really worth it. You know, I'm gonna start looking for a new car. And he was looking for like a $10,000 car. And I'm like, dad, I don't, you don't need to buy it. Like I'll buy you a car. You know, you work for me. It's, it's a company expense. We'll get to write it off. We'll get to do all of these things. So I said, don't even look for a car. I'll get a car. It'll be a company expense. It'll be yours. So I asked my good dad, what do you want me to buy you? Do you want another truck? Do you want to get an SUV this time? What do you want? And he said, those Chevy Tahoes are really nice. And I said in my mind, those Chevy Tahoes are really expensive. I remember looking for them and I'm like, dude, I can't believe how expensive these are used. And if you know me, I'm a used car guy. This Tesla I'm in is used. And I just couldn't believe how much they go for with so many miles. But people love the Chevy Tahoes. So I looked at Chevy Tahoes. I also looked at competing cars like Ford Explorer, Ford Expedition, and the Fords were way cheaper. What that says about Ford, I don't know. But I said, Dad, how about a Ford Explorer? You can get a newer version that's nicer for less price. And then I said, or I can get you a Chevy Tahoe that's a little older, has a little more miles, but it's a Chevy Tahoe. Without even blinking, he said, I want the Chevy Tahoe. And I said, all right, we'll get you a Chevy Tahoe then. 
So I ended up finding a really good deal on a Chevy Tahoe on Facebook Marketplace. That's a quick tip for you guys who are looking to buy used cars. Facebook Marketplace, Auto Trader, Craigslist, they're all great resources. I've bought many cars from them. And the beauty in Nevada anyway is you don't have to pay sales tax or any fees when you buy a private party. So I found a beautiful Chevy Tahoe for him and I bought it. So this video, there's not gonna be an actual surprise. He knows I bought it for him. And even if he didn't know I bought it for him, there still wouldn't be much of a surprise. If you know my dad, he's very, I don't, I don't know the right word, I guess stoic. He doesn't have a lot of personality or emotion. You know, for all you NBA fans, he's like Tim Duncan. Just whether things are good or bad, he looks the same. So I don't even think he'd give a good reaction either way. But we bought him the Tahoe and I said, well, since you're driving around all of our projects anyway, we should get the home run offer logo and everything on it. Because at this point, we already have all these TV commercials. We just bought billboards, which have been amazing. And it'll just help us build more brand presence to have cars going around the city with home run offer. And with all of our branding, we have me on it pointing, saying, I wanna buy your house. And he's all about it. As I said before, he was my biggest fan when I was in baseball. Like he is seriously number one dad, loves his son, will do anything for his son. So having me on his car, he'll freaking love it. I'll never put myself on a car I'm driving. I think it's embarrassing, but my dad, he'll think it's the best thing ever. And the reality is if we just get one deal because they saw him driving around, the car pays for itself. And I have no doubt that we will get at least one deal from it, most likely this year. So we are back at Dipped Auto Works where we had my Tesla wrapped. They did a great job. And I figured I might as well let them wrap this new Tahoe too. So I've gotten to know the owner, Christian, pretty well. I love just talking to other entrepreneurs, especially local ones in town. And he's a young dude in his 20s who went from wrapping cars at his house to now having one of the biggest wrap shops in town. You go look him up on Yelp or anything, you'll see people love him. They make dope content on Instagram. He's active on social media. He's building a business the right way, the same way that I try and teach people how to build businesses. So I'm happy to be doing business with them again. And I can tell you any other cars we buy that we end up wrapping, he's definitely gonna get our business. Dude, this is nice. Does it look like me? All right, cool. Dude, they did a good job. I think the home run offer looks really good. It's not, you know, it's like as big as it could be. You could see everything. I ended up buying him some new wheels because he couldn't have the stock rims with all this. He had to have that. Then we ended up having him do the chrome delete to match the rims. Oh. Then we had the chrome delete here. Dude, he's gonna love it. Unhealthy food there. Hey. Can't come back. Can't send back. Can't send back. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Yeah. Beautiful. That's really nice. Nice. What do you think of the rims? Now we're rolling. 22s. 22s? Yeah. Oh, man. That's really nice. Did they paint that or? Yeah, they, uh, well the rims came like this. Uh -huh. These are brand new tires. And then they um, did a chrome delete. Oh, wow. So they got rid of all the chrome. And then to match the rims, we ended up blacking out the whole grill. Oh yeah. Wow. So there's no chrome at all. Is it really my car? Yeah. 
Chris, Sean, Chris, D Daniel. Sorry, dude. <laughs> I just got a race. You got a race. You got the I best got race. Upgraded. <laughs> I just got upgraded. Sorry. Everyone, we were just doing a video about quarterly bonuses. So like everybody was getting bonuses, but nobody got bonused a car. Uh huh. So your bonus. Oh yeah. Oh, I take the car. But I don't know that it was from your quarters production. It was like a lifetime of production. Right. A lifetime bonus. Right. <laughs> Man, that's sharp. They're gonna see that all over town. Yeah, check out the inside. Look at those tires, man. They're new. Dude, they're brand new. I got them for 600 bucks. Oh, I mean, look at this. Beautiful. See? I'm pimping. <laughs> Watch out. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm glad. Hey, don't clutter it up. I tried to cheap out and get a good deal on a Ford, and I'm glad uh, oh, yeah. we went with the Tahoe. The Tahoe just looks way better than the Ford. Awesome. Very nice. I, you could probably just put the back seats down. You won't yeah, need them. Dad wasn't psyched about the Ford at all. I know. When I was telling him, I'm like, we could get you a newer Ford, you know, with way less miles, and he's like, I'd still rather have the Tahoe. That's beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow, very nice. I got a license plate frame for you at my house. It's a Chevy one, all blacked out. And I love the home plate. The hope is that somebody behind you, you know, sees this and then it ends up being a deal and then it just pays for it. Yeah, it will be. All, all it takes is one deal. People need to know home and offer is um, homegrown. Yeah. I mean, you know, born and raised in Las Vegas. Yeah, it is, it really is. But no, I'm glad we, we found a perfect one for you, a white one. You deserve it. I love you. Love you. Thank you. Ryan, yeah. Congratulations, Percy. Love you. I love you too. Best kid ever. Yeah. Well. Awesome. Here's the keys. Thank you. Yeah. Now back to work. Back to work. We got to get a deal with it. We got to get. We got to pay for it. So that was such a blessing to be able to give him a car. And I'll tell you, just even two years ago, there's no way I would imagine that I was gifting my dad a car. Last year, we even bought my parents a house and then we're able to all work together as a family with my dad, my sister, and my mom. Real estate and business has been very good to our family. So I hope that it inspires some of you. I know that there's many of you who want to retire your parents, who want to buy them a car, help them become financially free. And it starts with you. You have to take care of what you've got going on in order to take care of them. And real estate investing is one of those ways. So if you like this video, please make sure you go and hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on all the socials. So keep watching this channel. We've got a lot of content on real estate investing and I know it can help you out. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Take care.